So today I have these 2019 Cascadia 126 and it's the one that has the newer body. Um, this Cascadia is having a problem, a transmission problem, a code then probably you guys are going to speeding over the time. A DT12 transmission to be clear. Uh, there is many different type of transmissions, automatic transmission. In this case we have a Detroit transmission which is a DT12. So uh, we have the computer already hooked to the system um, and the problem is here so we go to fold codes and we get this code right here transmission control module and it says AMT control uh, close control mechanical error this stands this stands for a mechanical issue when the clutch cannot be fully applied or the clutch is fully applied and cannot be retracted either one so this code only is going to appear when there is a mechanical issue with the clutch um, now what is the issue you will uh, you will wonder and that is the good question this this code can happen for many different reasons it can happen because of the clutch is not good it can, it can happen because of the actuator is not good clutch actuator and it can happen because of uh, any type of uh, malfunction of both of them so how we are going to identify the problem it's pretty easy we are going to go to actions i go to actions because uh, it's the easiest way to get all the information that we need and then we go to transmission and on transmission we're going to go to Detroit transmission control uh, close control so we click on it and it's going to give you this information uh, this is to test the clutch how it's working and that is the reason why I come over here because it gives you the enough information that you need to know if the clutch is working so we have here the, free, the freeze um, reading the freeze uh, uh, a parameter that we have is the clutch desired value. The clutch desired value is the one that is going to determine how much of how much percentage the clutch is going to be applied. So it depends on how the uh, vehicle is working, running, and how the computer is going to determine how much percentage of the clutch is going to be pressed in. And this one right here is the actual percentage of displacement, which is how much the clutch is actually pushed or open. And the other one is the sp uh, speed corner shaft. This one is the one that comes exactly after the clutch. So this is very important because the clutch speed is going to be different as the corner shaft right here. So once the plate gets completely released, the uh, actual clutch plate it gets completely released this one is going to go to zero that's the reason why we have zero so there is an issue right here and the issue is then we have a 69 reading over here so it means that the clutch is at 69 percent but the desired value is zero so the computer determines that there is a problem the problem is then the computer cannot control how much percentage of the clutch can be applied because it's already open even though then the computer is not actually calling anything and that is the reason why we are getting this issue for example I'm going to start the engine and now I'm going to apply a gear so when I hold the brake and you are going to see see right now the corner speed right here the corner shaft speed is the same speed kind of similar to the engine speed because they are pretty much on the same level so if I apply the clutch this one gotta go to zero and this one gotta go all the way to 100 or close to 100 and this one gotta go all to 100 so pull the gear need to press the brake to press the brake a little hard uh, it doesn't go into gear right now hold on yeah 
it doesn't go into gear right now because it doesn't allow the clutch to move because this one is completely open, supposedly. But the truck cannot move anymore, so the truck is completely stopped. Uh, we cannot do anything to, uh, to make it work. Um, so what we have to do here is the following. I guess, I, I guess if we turn off the ignition and turn it back on, I think it's going to work. Let's say, I think that's the, that's the way this one works. So it gives you brakes. Okay, let's put it back the ignition on. And let's go back to transmission. Okay, and this one right here. Okay, so start the engine. Now, put the gear on. Ah, it still doesn't work. No. It doesn't work anymore, we have to fix this. Anyway, um, so this is one of the issues that you can get. The point of this video is to show you one of the issues you can get with the code that I just show you right now. But it will, it will vary depending on the type of issue that you have. Like for example, if the close desired value is a 100, let's say, and the dispersed value, this one right here, is a zero, that means that there is an issue and the clutch is not getting applied fully. It's moving or, 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 or the sensor is bad or something. In this case, because this one is all open and we don't have no reading over here, there is nothing, it's possible that this one is bad right here, probably the sensor is bad. Now, um, if you get 100 here, like for example, we get 100 and then we get 100 here, but still, the the counter shaft speed doesn't go uh, to zero. That means that the clutch is not stopping. If the clutch doesn't stop, that means then it's possible that the clutch is not getting fully released, which could be a mechanical issue that the clutch is having. But uh, it's just a small theory on how to actually repair this problem or actually how to ins investigate the cause of the problem on this one. In the future, I'm going to do different videos depending on the issue, but uh, it's going to be super hard to actually identify the issue on this one because it can vary depending on time to time, depending on the trucks. But the, the way to inspect the issue is going to be similar to all Cascadias or any truck that has DT12 transmission and uh, because they, they, they have pretty similar technology, I mean, doesn't matter the transmission is the same, the way the transmission is, uh, the way you want to diagnose the transmission is going to be exactly the same, it's not going to vary. But um, it's going to be hard for me to explain you what problem you can have because all the problems are going to vary depending on the condition of this problem is set and the repairs are going to vary as well because all the problem, some problems can be the same the way they look but the type of repair that you're gonna do are going to vary depending on the type of issue that you're gonna have. So uh, this is a very expensive repair in this case if we get the problem then the actuator is the problem is possible because we're getting uh, reading then the computer is, is not actually requesting. So it's possible then it's a sensor issue than one thing we have and if that is because of the clutch actuator, the one thing is possible then it could be bad because it is not actually reading the uh, right information. And uh, well, I mean, I want to leave the video to right here. Uh, later, I'm going to give you more details about on how to uh, check this problem because this problem is super, super extensive. It's not going to be fixed with one type of video. I'm going to make different videos with many different other information. So probably the video that I'm going to do in the future, probably that is the one that you are going to be related to. So. Um, right now, this is all. Any questions, you know, you can go to the comment section below or you can actually give any type of uh, recommendations or experience that you could have about this problem. Uh, you want to contact me directly, go to Instagram, look for me, Francisco Mada YouTube. Support the channel by checking the description of the video where I have details how to send support. Find me on Instagram as como Francisco Mada YouTube and uh, uh, you can send me any type of questions there and uh, do, uh, remember to like the video share it subscribe and thank you for watching